thanks for watching. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be reviewing the ColourPop Meant to Be palette. So a little bit about this. Um, this just launched I think last week and I ordered it the minute it launched because I just like green. Green has always been my favorite color um, and not that it's like an eyeshadow color I would normally wear every day but I just really liked this palette. Uh, particularly this darkest color which is called Chill Factor. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a few different colors from here. I'm going to be using Chill Factor, um, Dementh, Dementh, I think, um, Get Fresh, which is this um, lightest shade. So these are all mattes. And then I'm also going to be using Mojito Mommy on my lid and then uh, play it cool in sort of the inner corners. Um, and then I also got, so it came in a sort of pack of two eyeliners and the shadow. So I got this cream gel liner that came with it in the color Zulu. I think that's what it's called. Uh, which just obviously goes really well with all of this. So I wanted to pick this up because like I said, I really just like green and the price point is just on it. Like it's so budget friendly. Um, it's so convenient for so many people and you can really, they're 12 bucks a piece, but then like every influencer has a 10% off coupon code. So I ended up getting them for like $10 and change. So I picked up a couple of these. I picked up um, the Lilac You A Lot, so the purple one. I picked up the peach one and the coconut palette. So all of the nine pans. Um, so when I first got the box, I was super excited. I opened it up and I got a few different things. So I got those palettes. I got two of the eyeliners, so this one and then a nude one it came with. And then I also picked up these glitter, uh, glitter obsessed? Yeah, glitterly obsessed. So um, these are just really fun. So I got both of them that sort of were pro mode with this. So this one is called Fresher Than You. So this one just has this like really cool, it's hard to see because of all the lights in here, but this got a really cool reflect. And then I picked up the other one. So this one is more of like the green one. I think the other one is more of like a purpley peach one. Maybe I have them backwards. Either way, they both go with this sort of set. Uh, these are really cool. I didn't know what to expect, but it smells like something from childhood. I have no idea. I cannot put my finger on what it is. Some kind of like glue, glitter glue, I don't know. Um, but it definitely reminds me of something from being a kid. So that's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, so the price point is just on it. So like I said, I got them, it ended up being like $10 and change per palette. Um, I like the nine pans the best because really they're so easy to travel with. As nice as it is to have like 35 colors in a palette, it's so much and so big for me to carry. Like it just takes up so much space. Whereas this I could even just like throw in my bag. I don't actually need to like pack a whole makeup kit or like take up so much space for one palette. Um, so I really like that about it, but I'll end up probably taking a nude palette with me when I travel, but this is definitely just fun to have. And that way if you know you're going out for a night somewhere special and you're gonna be sleeping out, um, you can definitely just take one of these with you. Um, the other thing is that I like that they really just do a good job of like mattes and shimmers and like just an array of tones. And I love the monochromatics. I just do. They blend so much easier together. For so long, I was always trying to like combine colors that are really opposites or like really sort of fun, which is fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's also much harder to work with. Um, I was watching um, Samantha. It's like, I can't remember how she spells her handle, but yeah, I love her. She, her and like Raw Beauty Chrissy are like two of my favorite influencers. And um, she was talking about the color wheel and it made so much sense because I'm not an artist by trade by any means. I just really like makeup. So I didn't think about like, oh, well, if you know, you're using opposite colors, you're going to get like this brown, which is not what you're looking for when you're blending things together. So using uh, really just a monochromatic or shades that complement each other really work just really lovely and are so easy to sort of blend and put a look together. Um, so that makes this super easy. And then this is just kind of fun. You know, like I don't want to spend $40 or $30 on a colorful eyeshadow palette that I'm only going to probably use a handful of times, or maybe there's one or two colors in it that I'm most interested in. Um, I just don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, so this is just sort of really convenient just financially too for that reason. You can really get an array of different colorful palettes for a really affordable price. And I kicked myself because over Black Friday they had, um, 
I think it was like 10 palettes for $50, something ridiculous. It was like all of the nine shadow palettes that they had out at the time. Um, and I didn't get them because I was like, I don't need them. And then I just bought four palettes. So anyway. So yeah, so I did a tutorial with this to create this eye look here. Um, I think it's super fun. It's pretty wearable, I think, at least. Like if I was going somewhere where like I needed green to match my outfit, I think it would be good. Um, yeah, and it was actually just a dream to work with. So I will jump into the tutorial now. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell so that way you get alerted when I post new videos. I'm trying to be better about posting videos regularly. Um, I work a full-time job, but this is just something I like to do. It's super fun and just a really good way for me to just sort of unwind and decompress and like do something fun that I really enjoy. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and show me some love and make this all worth it for me so I can justify all of the makeup that I buy. Because if you watch my videos, then I can say, you see, husband, I need all of these things because people actually care what I have to say about it. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Again, please subscribe and leave me comments down below about um, anything you have to say about the video. Bye. So starting off with my eye already primed, just with some concealer and some translucent powder, I'm gonna start with the color Get Fresh, and that's the one right up here in the top corner. And I'm gonna go in with a MAC 224 brush. And just using this as my transition shade, I'm gonna go right here in sweeping motions. So once that color is built up to the sort of depth you want, and this does take a little um, sort of finessing to get it worked up to a, a deeper color, but it definitely gets there. Then I'm gonna go in with the color Dementh. I think that's how you say it. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna go in with a um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH35 brush. back in with my Morphe, I'm sorry, my MAC 224. I'm just gonna go back in with a little more of that first shade and build this up a little more. Then going in with the color Ice Cold, it's this one right here. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Jeffree Star JS6 brush. It's this kind of pointed one. So this one I will say has a lot of kick up. When you tap your brush it's like a lot of dust. I don't know if you can see that. This seems to be the dustiest of all the colors. that out I'm gonna go back in with no extra product on this Jaclyn Hill brush and just blend this out then going in with a Morphe um, M507 brush this little guy I'm gonna go in with chill factor so this is the darkest color in the palette and actually like 
one of the main reasons why I bought this palette. And I'm just going to kind of buff this in on a diagonal. Like almost like you were going to do a wing. Um, so instead of going all the way in, I'm just going to keep it out here. And then just going back in with that um, Jeffree Star Morphe brush, I'm just going to go ahead and buff out this edge here. Just sharpening this edge again because I want it to be more of like a B. So I just want to make that nice and soft. Then I'm going to go in with this center color called Mojito Mommy in the center. And I'm going to take that on a Jeffree Star um, Morphe Brushes JS11, just on any flat brush you have. I'm gonna put some of that on my brush and then I'm gonna go ahead in with some Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spray my brush. So once you do that, then I'm not actually gonna cut the crease with concealer, I'm just gonna cut it with the eyeshadow. And you get a lot of good color payoff here. Then when I get to the connection here, I'm just gonna go back in with this little M507 and um, this color ice cold and just tap a little bit, just lightly here to start connecting the sort of matte and the shimmer. And then just tapping with whatever's left on this brush just to kind of bring them together. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then we'll do under the eye together and we'll see how it came out. I just wanted to keep going with the eye. So before I do my under eye, I'd like to do the rest of my face um, because that way I don't have to like sort of like worry about wiping it off and stuff or like getting in the way. So I actually got the, both of these like, um, what are they called? Glitterly obsessed things. I've never got these before. They look really fun. This is called Fresher Than You. So this is the one with like the green hue. So I'm actually gonna pop a little bit of this onto the, like on top of the lighter part here. And actually what I noticed before is I think this side has more, I'm gonna pop on a little bit of this mojito color, a little more in here. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with this really obsessed. I don't know the best way to do this. So we'll try it with a brush. This is a like, seriously ancient brush that I don't have no idea where it came from. Um, I'm gonna see, so it's like this, it's like a jelly. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of that and see if I can press, okay. Okay, well that's fine. It smells like childhood. Like whatever the adhesive is, in this, it smelled, something reminds me of like being a kid. Oh, that's fun. So it looks like it did like pull up. I don't know if you could see it, but it looks like it pulled up a little bit of the shadow with it. I'm gonna try and, 
Oh, I might be making it worse. All right, that I don't love. So that's kind of annoying. So it's very obvious that it like pulled up the eyeshadow. So note to self, don't do that in the future. Which is kind of disappointing because I mean, Oh, I guess it is technically body glitter. So I guess you're not, well, that makes sense. They're pretty chunky. You're probably not supposed to put them on your eyes, but that's all the fun. So, all right, never mind. Well, that's quite annoying. All right, so now I'm gonna go under the eye. So I'm just gonna take that same fluffy, like the little fluffy guy that we were using before, this M507. This is the 506, which is fine because this one's actually clean. And I'm going to go in with um, the Get Fresh color. That was the first one we went in with. And just go right under the eye. Then I'm going to go in with this smaller sort of pencil brush. This is a Morphe M321. And I'm going to go in with the color Ice Cold. And then going in with the smallest pencil brush, I'm going to go in with the color Chill Factor. Then I'm going to go in with this. I got, um, so I got the bundle where it was like the eyeshadow palette and two eyeliners and one of them was this mint one, which I thought went really well. So I'm going to pop this right in the waterline. And then in the inner tear duct, I'm just going to go in with this little brush again and I'm going to go in with the color Play It Cool, which is the iciest sort of color. And, oh. Whoa, 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 too much. All right, let's see if we can fix this. All right, so I'm just gonna finish this eye and pop on some false lashes and we'll talk about the, the palette. So this is the final makeup look. I will zoom you in. So I think it came out really nice. I ended up taking off the um, glitter because it was just a mess and it does say body glitter on the box or the bottle. You think I listened? No, no I didn't. Um, so yeah, I would say for sure, don't use this on your eyeballs. One, because it's definitely not eye safe. And two, because it just lifted the shadow. So I really had to, um, get out of your eyebrow here. Um, I really had to like take, literally take it off with a makeup wipe and then reapply um, the shadow just on top to sort of clean it up. But I think this just came out really nice. I feel like it blended really well. Super easy to work with. Um, the colors are super vibrant. Um, I was worried they were going to be a little chalky because when I initially swatched them, some of them were a little chalky. But in the end, they actually worked really beautifully. I really didn't have any problems outside of this clump right here because that was my fault. Use fluffier brushes, Laura. You have 90,000 of them. So let me zoom you out. So yeah, I just think this came out really good. I, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's not creasing, like nothing funny is happening. They blended really beautifully. Just, I don't know, I think it was worth it. I'm hoping that the other shadows I purchased, the other nine pans are the same kind of quality and the same sort of pigmentation. I've heard wonderful things about all of their palettes. So that's again why I jumped on this bandwagon because I figured so many people are all about it. The price point is on, like it's definitely, worth checking out and um what better time than when you're stuck in a small town with nothing to do and you need something to occupy your time with so you buy lots of makeup to do eyeshadow tutorials with <laughs> so again very worth it super easy like just really easy to blend out and and came out to be a really nice look and i didn't even have to cut my crease like it was just i was able to just do it with the brush um and it worked beautifully so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if there's anything else you guys are interested in like learning about 
or videos you want to see or upcoming launches that you're interested in. Um, I did buy Tati's Blendiful, which is her new like makeup application tool, which I'm very interested in. Um, that should be, I saw the tracking, it's on the way. Um, so that will definitely be my next tutorial on how that actually applies makeup because for forever, like most of us, we've been using beauty blenders or I mean, I started with brushes a bajillion years ago before the beauty blender was a thing. Um, but maybe this is the next best thing. I don't know, but that will be next. So if you guys want to watch that video, please don't forget to ring the little bell down below. That way you'll know when my next video is posted. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.